I'm looking for the equation of a line that goes through these two points. Remember, when I'm looking for the equation of a line, I'm only looking for two things. I'm looking for the slope, and I'm looking for the y-intercept. Okay? Here, I'm not given either the slope or the y-intercept. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my slope formula to find slope. So remember what I do, x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to use my slope formula, right, because that's what finds me slope, and it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? That's what m equals. That's what slope equals. So I'm going to do y2, that's 4, minus y1, negative 4. x2, 3, minus x1. This is 4 minus negative 4, that becomes 4 plus 4, that's 8. 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So now I have my slope, look, I can even fill it in. y equals negative 4x, what I'm still missing is my b. So how do I find it? I'm going to use my same equation, y equals mx plus b. I'm going to plug in what I know. What do I know? Well, now I know the slope, and I can choose either one of these points. It doesn't matter which one, but let's just choose one. Let's choose this one. And notice what I can't do is choose like the x here and the y here. But I can choose one point. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to plug in 4 for y. Right, so that's y is 4. This is m times x, so it's m times x is 3, and I'm solving for b. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and then I'm adding 12 to both sides to get b by itself. Okay, so now I already have my m, and here's my b, so here's my equation. y equals mx plus b.